sophomore, student athlete Elisa Cunane and student athlete Jada Boyd. Uh, Coach, if you could just start us off with an opening statement, then we'll take questions. Well, first of all, I want to tip my hat to uh, Kenny Brooks and Virginia Tech. Uh, obviously, they were shorthanded today with a couple of their key players injured, and yet they gave us all we wanted. And I'm not surprised, uh, you know, Coach Brooks does a heck of a job and his players are, uh, I mean, they're going to compete uh, until the final whistle. So um, glad to glad to get by that one. Uh, told, told them afterwards, you know, get healthy, get those kids healed up and uh, let's go make a run in the NCAAs and represent the ACC. So I'm confident they'll do that. Proud of our players. Again, it wasn't always easy or pretty. I thought we did a much better job on the offensive boards today. That's been something we've been trying to emphasize. Um, you know, again, they made it tough on us, mixing up man and zone. And, uh, you know, when you, then when you have a lead and they're pressing, you got to decide, do you want to press the issue and try to score? But if you do that, now you're shooting quick and giving, giving them more possessions. But I thought our players made good decisions and handled it well. Obviously, Elisa playing here close to home has been really, really good. Uh, double double, twenty points, thirty rebounds, impressive. Uh, yeah, he said thirty. Oh, uh, ten. Uh, sorry, thirteen. Thirteen rebounds. I say thirty. Okay, I'd always try to promote our players. Okay. And then uh, Jada Boyd, I, I think the last month or so has been playing at a whole nother level, and uh, she makes a big difference for us when she is because she can help us on both ends of the floor, and uh, just did a great job today as well. So. Uh, again, but we had a lot of people, you know, Raina, we, we kind of slipped up and let her get her third foul in the first half. That was, uh, that was my fault, our fault. We got to do a better job of that. Uh, but Diamond, you know, filled in and then, uh, Raina gave us a big lift when she came in off the bench and hit some big shots. So again, great team win and, uh, proud of, you know, what this team's been doing. I've been riding their coattails now for four years. So, uh, it's been, it's been a good ride. Okay, if you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. The first one here on the second row, Jonas. Yeah, at least I just saw you. Uh, your jaw kind of dropped a little bit when you looked at the stat sheet and you and Jada exchanged high fives. What, what stat did you see that kind of jumped off, to, jumped off the page to you right now? Honestly, my jaw dropped when I saw I had four turnovers. I knew I had a couple, but I knew I had four. But uh, we just pointed out, like, our points and our rebounds. Um, I'm just proud of JB for coming out here, um, coming off the bench, getting 16 points. Um, she just played amazing tonight, so I was proud of her for that. Okay, next question, Mark, you're in the front row. Uh, Elisa, um, how much did uh, them not having Kitley uh, make a big difference for you guys in, in your ability to dominate on the boards today? Uh, I mean, it was just different, you know. They were um, trying to draw fouls inside, so you couldn't really attack as much with Kitley there. Um, you had to be a little more gentle with them. Um, but I think it also, on the offensive end, they were able to attack more. Um, and so being like a five player, we had to guard the four players a little bit more, like them attacking, shooting threes. So I think they still obviously played a great game. I think it shifted things um, a little bit more mobile game, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, definitely missed her out there and hope she's okay. Here in the back row, right? Uh, Jada Boyd, uh, what was your mindset coming into this tournament? Because you've been just playing great. I know you coach said you've been playing great the last month or so, but uh, this tournament, you've just been special so talk about your uh your mindset uh just coming in with the dominant mindset knowing that i know what i'm gonna do and hoping to get to the championship just playing for another goal gives me confidence and moving towards the goal feels good okay here in the middle in the third row uh just wanted to ask lisa real quick it looked like in the first quarter they were frustrating you a little bit with those uh with those um late double teams just what was your approach to getting around them as the game went on uh, I just had to slow down a little bit more. Um, I think I got out of the control a couple times and didn't finish as strong. Um, so I just had to slow down and just go up through the contact um, and just finish better. I knew they were going to fall in the second quarter and beyond. So just be patient with that. Okay, back to the middle third row here. Mitchell. Yeah, this is a question for Jada. Um, you know, you, you dealt with an injury earlier this season. Um, what's this kind of what's the season been like for you? You know, a little bit different, you know, there's less minutes to go around, a little bit of a role change. What, what's the season been like? Uh, it was a struggle mentally at first, but with the help of my coaches and teammates, I mean, they carried me along the way. And what was the rest of your question? Just kind of, you know, how you're playing big minutes. 
Yeah, I mean, no matter when JB gets her minute, she's going to come in and dominate. So it's just what we need her to do. Whenever she comes in, she's going to give rebounds and dominate points. Okay, fourth row on the left. Raise your hand there in the fourth row. Uh, Coach, you guys uh, kept Virginia Tech, you know, kind of limited their three-point attempts. I just wondering if you could evaluate the job that your team did on those closeouts, you know, getting the long closeouts but staying on their feet so you didn't give up the, uh, the three-point attempts. Yeah, I mean, again, they've got, you know, three of the best three-point shooters in the conference, maybe maybe even four. I mean, they really do a great job of knocking those down. I thought we did a, did a nice job of getting a hand up. Um, we still have to get better at uh, avoiding screens and, and being able to get back up. Um, we also talked about allowing them to miss and trying to limit our fouls and their free throws. Uh, we knew they shot 22 free throws yesterday. Uh, today they shot 16, so they did a really good job of, of spreading us out in the, uh, when they went to a little five-out offense and attacking us in the gaps. Uh, it's just they're tough. They're hard to guard because you got to respect the three, but yet they're pretty good off the bounce too. So thought our, I thought, you know, for the most part, we hung in there pretty well. Uh, it's something we definitely want to clean up in the next uh, couple of weeks. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, uh, Pretty nice job of uh, limiting, you know, Shepard's, I think, maybe the all-time three-point shooter. I mean, she's really, really good. And I thought we did a nice job of getting to her and, and making it tough for her to get an open look. Okay, if you're on the far left. Coach, it seemed like it, it, in part of the second half when you went on that 13 to nothing run, you brought Alyssa out from the low post, kind of moved her up to the, the high post. Uh, I'm not sure if it was yeah. a certain part of plays, but was that by design? Uh, to create some other things? Well, we just we felt like, uh, you know, with the four player, they were showing big a lot, really getting up there. And, and so we kind of wanted to let our four players set the pick and roll. And then obviously, Elisa shoots the three so well, got, you know, a lot of confidence in her ability to do that. So it gives us a chance with Jada Boyd. She's, you know, when she's rolling in there, that's it's hard for them to contain her on the block or inside and uh, with Elisa knocking down the three. So we just kind of reverse roles a little bit. Uh, they also, a lot of teams are going to double Elisa, but they may not, our four player, our forward. And so it kind of cleans up the pain a little bit for that person. And uh, if you decide to help and double down, uh, Elisa usually is going to make you pay. So, yeah, just kind of role reversals almost. All right, towards the back on the left. Uh, for both the players, you're going back to the finals. Uh, you've been there before. Is it? Does it feel different this time around? Or, and how much does the experience of being there before help y'all? Um, I mean, we're still excited to be back. It feels a little different because we've had experience now. Um, we've been in the big game, I guess, three times now. went it twice. Um, but we still have to come out there with the same mentality. Um, we have to dominate, and we have to take it, like, every game at a time. So we can't just, like, look past it and say, oh, we've won it before, so we're going to win it. No, we have to respect who we're playing and really study the scout and be ready. Jada, can you comment on that as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go in the front. Mark, back to you. At least just to circle back on the rebound, and what was helping you guys uh, be so dominant on the glass, especially uh, keeping them from getting second chance points? Uh, I mean, we saw in their game yesterday that uh, Carolina got a lot of O boards. So that's one thing that we've really been focusing on, even the past couple months um, just rebounds, rebounds. And I think without Liz in there, they didn't have as much size. Um, so we knew we could crash. Um, and just try to get rebounds. Any other questions? Mitchell, are you in the third row? Yeah, coach. Um, I was just, I had a question kind of from an opposing, opposing coach's perspective. You know, Amor had a great game for them yesterday. Today, you guys were kind of able to bottle them up a little bit. What kind of, her a little bit. What, what kind of challenges does she present yeah. and what were you able to do well against her? Yeah, you know, again, as a coach, you're sitting there, every possession is life or death, you know, and, and I'm feeling like she's eating us up, you know, uh, because, again, she gets to the rim, she knocks down the three. Uh, you know, Kai was on her a lot most of the day, and, uh, you know, it's tough because Kai, we're asking her to guard, you know, somebody that's really hard to guard from the three-point line all the way to the rim. And uh, so, you know, I'm still on her all the time, you know, <laughs> one minute contained the next minute you got to get over the pick and take away the three so uh you can't win right but uh you know i, th I thought she did a nice job on her and uh again uh that's kind of the way we try to roll is is have her 
take on somebody that we really respect as a scorer, and we definitely do that with her. So uh, she still got double figures, scored 12 or whatever, but uh, you're right. We made it, made it hard. She had to earn them.